What's up guys? Uh, how is it going? I hope that you are doing well. We are looking at the price of Bitcoin. Sorry, I didn't make an update for a while. I was uh, in a trip and still uh, not exactly in my current, my, like usual setup. But let's see what happens. Uh, first of all, yes, we did stop below, uh, sorry, a little bit below, yeah, $8,500. But that was the lowest point. And now we broke this uh, descending wedge to the upside, which is a good sign for the bulls. But uh, let's look at the details of this situation a little bit later. I just want to show you the reason, like the main point of this video, probably the main point. The new tweet from Plan B on Twitter. And you remember he made this um, stock to flow model for the price action of Bitcoin, which is uh, kind of a viral thing, predicting the Bitcoin price going higher and higher with time, depending on the... Um, <clears throat> deflationary model of Bitcoin, but in any case, he posted this on um, February, what it was, February 11th, <coughs> that in 2020th Bitcoin will stay above $8,200, so will not go to anything like $600 or $4,000. Uh, and at the point of the halving, we will have the price around $10,000, maybe above $10,000. And bull run will start uh, 2021 after the halving, and the top will be around $100,000. And so far, his prediction was correct. We are still above $8,200. And moreover, he pointed out this he, he made this tweet so his uh, uh, bottom according to his his prediction is now 8475 and most likely we will stay stay there and will not go below uh, that $8,200 and this is based on his new indicator so this is basically a screenshot of his indicator we don't have any numbers here anything uh, so it's not uh, disclosed yet he said that he will uh, describe it later but right now we just basically don't have anything um, any information about this indicator but we, what we do see here is that he is basically making some predictions and they are right uh, and according to the fact that he well <coughs> And considering the fact that he made this stock to, fl uh, to flow ratio model, uh, which is uh, pretty much um, legit and very reasonable thing, I would say that indeed his indicator might be very, very interesting and valid. So it's it's worthwhile to listen to what he said. And basically the thing is, yeah, we might indeed have the local bottom here and maybe even the very long term bottom at $6,500. So this is one thing. Now to the price action, guys. So what we have um, on the charts is that, yes, so we basically uh, broke to the upside. And the, the key point here, which I was uh, going to mention, is this four hours time frame divergences. Uh, I made all those tweets on Telegram, uh, on, on Twitter and Telegram posts as well. So you see here, the lows are going lower. We actually need to uh, make it on the um, bodies of the candles, but the, the, the meaning is the same. So the lows on the price are lower, the lows on the uh, RSI and um, uh, other indicators are higher. This is bullish divergence. And the same divergence, bullish or bearish, was before uh, at the point of the reversal here. For example, here you see highs are going higher, highs on the indicator are going, well, at least RSI are going lower. This is bearish divergence. That was the local top. Here, the lows are going lower, but the lows on the RSI and, and stochastic as well are going higher. This is a bullish divergence. This was the local, um, local low. So, yeah, indeed, this is a very interesting, very important uh, and statistically uh, profitable uh, point to trade. So, again, that was around $8,500. We have this pullback, maybe too fast, so we are correcting it right now. But technically, what we have is that we have the potential for this whole correction, which is about like 20%, to be over. 
so it, it might be really over and we will continue to go higher but i would stay cautious first of all although we have this higher low potentially and we are continuing to test this uh, 8900 dollars so potentially we will go higher and i'm expecting to see that but until we will break first $9,500 and stay above it and we will uh, make a new high above maybe $10,000 it is still a downtrend until um, until the point we show when we show the uh, reason reasonable um, <coughs> signs of the trend change i i st still would consider this as the downtrend and will trade it accordingly so what i would uh, pay attention to right now is that we are above the bolger bands uh, baseline on four hours time frame you remember somewhere around here i say that this is the first uh line first uh, kind of a um level which we are looking at and i am looking at so now we're above it usually it's the local change of the trend so we already uh had the uh, uh, another test of this uh, line from the top and kind of having this um, rejection from this line so it, it confirms that we are more or, le or less in a strong uh rising trend again local a local rising trend so what i would see what i would look at right now is that uh, how the price will react on the same bolger Benz baseline on the daily time frame and now it is at nine thousand three hundred seventy dollars so of course it will go a little lower so i would expect to meet um the price in this level around nine thousand two hundred dollars and yeah again you see let's say this bull trend this was the support and now we have the bear trend and that would be a re will be resistance so if we will be able to break it and especially hold above this a line of nine thousand five hundred dollars which was previously a sub resistance and then support now is also resistance if we will hold above this resistance that would be a very good sign but uh that would be also a very uh reasonable point to short uh to enter the short position so um although we have this kind of uncertainty right now i mean we might have actually go down without any growth because this could be a potential bear flag so indeed no no wonder if we'll just continue to go lower right now but if we're not if we'll continue to go higher i would i would look at how the price will react with those levels and moreover i must must point out two uh, patterns right now which are on the chart so first is the a little bit lower time scale but still uh, this is one day chart and this is a potential invert inverse inverted head and, head and shoulders here so you see left shoulder head and a right shoulder here so if we will um, reach back to uh, after maybe testing this level of nine thousand one hundred dollars to nine thousand five hundred dollars somewhere around here and then we'll go lower then after we'll test the neckline uh, at the area of eight thousand five hundred dollars and then we'll break it and maybe we'll hold below it then would be the very high potential that will play out this, this pattern will play out and again according to Bulkovsky, it's not a hundred percent growth this is a log time scale so uh, of price scale so don't uh, don't be surprised that this is actually a different looks different in in size but actually on the linear time scale it's the same so uh, on the uh, according to, to the estimation with Bulkovsky, it's not hundred percent of the height of the of this pattern but 50 51 percent so so somewhere around seven thousand dollars you might expect the price uh, go to this area if the pattern will play out but this is a bearish bearish look at the things we also can follow this uh, bigger bigger uh, uh, invert hand and shoulders actually I say this was that was invert hand and shoulders here this is like a regular head and shoulders so this irregular head so this invert head and shoulders uh, has a very very nice chance to play out to reach to make the price reach uh, thirteen thousand dollars. But again, we need to go to the area around ten thousand dollars plus to the previous high. And as soon as we will break this high, yeah, we can we can easily easily go to this area. But again, we shall be very careful. Uh, not that optimistic in my opinion, because again, we are still in the downtrend until we'll see the confirmation uh, of this 
it's it's really hard to say whether we are uh, ending will finish this this correction so considering all of that um, I shall update you on the on the uh, trades I made on Snapex and you can follow those on Twitter and Telegram so after this profitable short which I opened and took pretty much all this move uh, that was the um, there are there were two other trades long trades I opened one around here and then um, I actually set the stop below this low and yeah you see the next drop uh, kicked me uh, stopped me out so I opened another one uh, so although this pullback actually happened right so I, I do see the move to almost nine thousand dollars so it was it was a nice trade but the the, the stop order should be a little bit lower it, it actually was something like ten dollars difference um, below my stop loss well this is trading you have what you have so we'll see in any case considering the trades right now i don't see any uh, chance to trade more or less profitably with the reasonable risk, risk to reward ratio so what i would suggest is that i would try to catch the short uh, order when the price will reach some local local high somewhere around here where it will be I'm not sure so please follow till Twitter and telegram I will make updates there but probably somewhere here I will try to open a short position with the um, uh, stop above ten thousand dollars maybe nine thousand nine hundred something like that and yeah it that might be very uh, reasonable and very uh, profitable trade as soon as we will continue to go lower and make a lower low until then I would I would stay more or less flat uh, with with the trading so yeah we'll see we'll see guys in any case I hope that it was useful I will keep you updated as usual on the price and uh, yeah thank you for watching guys goodbye and yeah safe trading guys and thank you for watching